dangerous and most of them get exploited because of no awareness of what consumer rights are. Hello everyone, I am Nafia and I am going to share a story with you. This is a documentary about a consumer Muskan who gets exploited and how this exploitation affects or changes her life. working she works in a corporate company now you can imagine her schedule always deadlines projects emails etc in this chaotic life of us she does not have time to eat home cooked food so she prefers instant food she's always late for her office now let's see how she'll make it to her office on time oh i'm late again excuse me such a tiring meeting and boss took it so long yeah indeed it was very tiring i'm so hungry like i didn't eat anything since morning shall we go to canteen and have something yeah let's have something I get a chips packet. Thank you. Hi Muskan Muskan What happened I'm not feeling well since Why what did you eat I had chips in the Do you want to eat something No Have something No Okay take rest we'll talk tomorrow yeah. Good night take care Muskan How are you feeling? No, I am not feeling well. Should we go see a doctor? Okay, get ready. We'll go see a doctor. Yeah. Muskan's friend Simran realizes that something is wrong with Muskan's health as she has been not feeling well since a few days now. She decides to take Muskan to the hospital. suffering from stomach ache and also she puked last night what did she had from past few days her skin has been very hectic from past couple of days and she's been eating outside food okay so i'll prescribe you some test just get it them first There looking at the Muskan's condition the doctor decides to do a few tests to know what is actually happening with her After the results come out the doctor declares that Muskan has been infected with food poisoning Knowing this Muskan gets really clueless of what went wrong and with this she gets really worried and decides to take care of herself now She does not go to the office the next day and she is still sick Here 
Rajeshwari. Hello, Muskan. I am not coming to office today as I am not feeling well. What happened? Are you suffering from stomach pain? Yes. How do you know that? Because I am also suffering the same since yesterday. I have been having canteen food since a couple of days. Since then, I am not feeling well. Yeah, I think there is something wrong with our canteen food. Let's find out. How can I help you? Can I get a chips and a biscuit packet? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Have some chips. Wait. This product is expired. What? Yeah. Wait. Let me check other product as well. This is also expired. Yesterday also I had this food and I guess that's the reason I felt sick. Yeah, this is so serious. I think we should file a case against the shopkeeper in the consumer court. Yes, come in. Hello ma'am, I am Rajeshwari. Recently I was given expired products by the shopkeeper at our office canteen due to which I and my friend had food poison. We are here to file a case against her. Oh, can you explain me in detail so that I can do justice to you? Yes ma'am, sure. I was having canteen food since quite a few days and that's the reason I was sick due to the expired products the shopkeeper sold to me. These kind of cases are very rare and people don't go against the flaws and insufficiency of goods and services. How can we get the justice ma'am? There is an act called Consumer Protection Act which safeguards and encourages consumers and also provides easy and fastest compensation to consumer grievances. Okay lawyer, can we file a case under this act? A consumer complaint can be filed by one or more consumers. The central or the state government, any registered voluntary consumer association, a legal representative of the consumer. In case the consumer is minor, then the complaint can be filed by his legal guardian or parents. Thank you ma'am. I have some proofs in case if we need them in our case. That's great. This will definitely help us to show as a proof. Good morning. So are you ready? Yes, lawyer. We are ready. But we are kind of we will win the case, right? Definitely. I'm certain about it. We have strong proofs as well. All rise. Your Honor, my client has been taking her food from office canteen and recently she got to know that the food she consumed has been expired. Lord, it was my mistake. Consumer Protection Act 1986 seeks to promote and protect the interest of consumers against deficiencies and defects in goods or services. It also seeks to secure the rights of a consumer against unfair or restrictive trade practices. We will direct the opposite party for the refund the amount and also pay a amount of Rs 2500 as compensation towards exploiting your customers. The state government has warned that the legal action would be taken against those found selling food products in packets without mentioning their manufacturing date and expiry period. 
The Civil Supplies Commissioner K Raja Raman said that as per the Rule 5 of the Package Commodities Order 1975. Sale of packaged commodities without details such as maximum retail price, date of manufacturing, producer's name and address has been banned. Severe action will be taken against those producers and dealers who were found violating the statutory provisions of the Legal Metrology Department. The commissioner also added that the packaged commodities should be removed from the godowns or destroyed after their expiry period. If any trader or retailer was found indulging themselves in selling those expired products or has failed to remove or destroy those goods from their godowns then a severe action will be taken against them as per the section 273 of the Indian Penal Code and section 7 of the Prevention Food Adulteration Act 1954. Well, Muskan is not the only consumer who has faced this exploitation. Many consumers face these kinds of exploitations every day. Some of the ways through which the consumers are cheated by the manufacturers are charging a higher price than the prevailing price in the market, using underweight management techniques by underweighing the products, selling substandard quality products in the name of good quality products. Adulteration of oil, ghee, and spices is very common to earn higher profits. Companies spend a considerable amount on advertisement alone to attract customers and feed information that they want the customers to know, but not the information the customers should actually know about the products. Some producers sell poor quality products without caring for the standard safeguard norms. The sellers make false claims about the durability and the quality of the products by advertisement. To make profit, sellers often indulge in creating artificial scarcity through hoarding and black marketing. Consumers are often harassed and put forward under new conditions so that their requirements get fulfilled.